Hi everybody, Tim Ralston here. Thanks for showing up at GearUpCenter.com and uh, I wanted to wish you a happy holidays and show you what I think are the top great Christmas gift picks, stocking stuffers, things that are must have. And I'm gonna break it down in kind of divisions. We're gonna start off with the lighting division. Um, so let's start off by looking at one of my favorites. I have four of these in my pack, always carry them for the simple reason, hate the dark, but I also don't want to have to go replace batteries. This is your power cell right here. This will generate in five hours enough power to power this little illumination light here. It'll give you 18 hours of diffused light. The air and the plastic help to diffuse the light, it makes it a nice warm glow. Enough to be able to light your entire campsite, which is pretty cool, I think. If you click it again, now it's gone up in, in intensity, giving you navigation light. So I could actually use this one pillow um, to be able to navigate through a really dark forest. This has a lot of multi-use. First of all, you can still use this as a water vessel. This will be able to store 10 and a half cups of water on the inside when you are powering up your battery, the heat that uh, the sun generates helps actually to kill the bacteria of the water, um, helping you get uh, potable water, which is these things go a long way. They do a lot of work for a very little tiny package. This thing weighs just ounces. So for these, you're not even gonna notice it. I've been out there 30 years looking to try to find the ultimate headlamp, and this is it. This is the Extreme Beam headlamp. Um, the cool part about this headlamp is the quality. The quality is amazing. It's not cheap plastic at all. It's got a, a really nice rubbery grip to it. Um, it does have an adjustable headlamp right here, so you can move it down to the 90 degree if you're working you know, really close to you, or if you're hiking, you could put it out to you know, an extended reach. It has three really nice, comfortable elastic bands that um, fit really comfortably on your head. It has some really unique features. First of all, it's probably the brightest headlamp on the market. It's 160 lumens, um, which is really, really bright, with only one small LED lamp that has probably 10,000 hours of life on it. You push it again, and it goes into saver mode. So you're gonna be able to extend the life of your batteries, and it has the flash. I love that. You know, if you're in a dangerous situation, you put this on your head, now you have two hands to fight that attacker, which is, that cutting edge that you might need. Um, the other thing that you can do with this lamp is if you hold it for three seconds, if you're in an emergency situation and you don't know Morse code, well, this light knows it for you. Um, you hold it for three seconds, it will automatically do that SOS code for 13 hours, hopefully getting you rescued. If you're um, trying to preserve your night vision, extend this little scope here hold the lamp and now I've got a nice red glow so I can read my navigational um, charts and uh, save my night vision. But the thing that makes this thing really just crazily impressive is the length that this touches. This is the longest beam reach in history for a headlamp. If you can see through our little canopy there, if I put it on high beam, oops, if I put it on high beam, it won't even shine through. You can see it's pretty bright even in a bright lit room but all I have to do is pull this rod forward and now it focuses the beam. It has a really cool patented um, magnifying beam on the inside of this that will allow me to really focus that beam and it'll still go through all of the sequence even the flash so that is just amazingly bright. One of my other all-time favorite lights is this guard dog. This is called the Diablo. And the Diablo is um, interesting in the fact that it looks just like a regular torch. It's an aluminum-based um, flashlight, really sturdy. It comes with the different modes, just like I showed on the Extreme Beam. It's 160 lumens as well. Um, it'll go through high, low, flash, but it has one really unique feature, all right? So as you're walking the dog or this being next to your, um, your bedside, you hear something in the middle of the night, you turn your light on and you're seeing them. If that doesn't blind them and give you that chance to get away, all you gotta do is push this little button forward and in the back you have yourself a little trigger. You hit them with 4.5 million volts. You'll definitely get away at that point. This hurts. 
a lot. It'll definitely knock someone down. Um, it's not like a taser where you're gonna go involuntarily stiff as a board, but it hurts so bad, you're gonna turn around, run away, and or let go. So it'll give you that chance to be able to get away. Let's address our, our, our container, our water vessels. For me, the old tried and true metal GI can has been the one that I like the most. And for one simple reason, yes, it's a water container, it holds your water, but it allows you to boil the water, which is important in a survival situation. But up until last year, the boube, pronounced boube, the unique thing about this is it's made of a plastic that does not allow germs to grow in it. But the cool part about it is, is that you can hold this over an open flame and boil the water in this plastic bottle. So now I have a bottle when not in use, folds up almost to nothing, um, but it allows me to boil the water in here to sterilize it so I can have this as my canteen. It won't break, it won't dent. It's fantastic when you heat this thing up and it's freezing cold to be able to put this near your core body. It's nice and soft. I've used it as a compress, um, both hot and cold water on sore muscles. Um, I use it even as a pillow. It has a lot of versatility to it. This is probably one of the coolest new innovations that's hit the market this year in the camping survival market. It's called the Power Pot. And the reason they call it the Power Pot, it produces power. All right, unlike solar panels that rely on the sun, what if it's a dark, dingy day? What if it's at nighttime and you still gotta charge up your cell phone? This pot can do it. You have to cook your food anyway. You have to boil your water if it's um, trying to sterilize it. This heat pad here at the bottom transfers the heat energy into power going through this alternator. So you put it full of water, you start it over a fire source, whether it's a camp stove or just an open flame fire. This is all fireproof uh, wiring. Comes back, goes through the transformer, and powers up your any electronic device because it has a lot of different adapters that comes with it. So you pick your poison as far as what you're trying to power up. You have an extra pot here that comes with it. So the entire kit is not only your cook set, but it's your power power plant. It's just amazing. Let me show you probably one of our most popular by far worldwide tools for survival. It's the multi-tool. It's the Swiss Army knife of shovels. It's the Kroval. This is the Kroval Extreme 2. Um, this one has been totally modified all the way to the 4130 hardened chromoly um, attack head. We've made it a lot more aggressive, um, made it as strong as we can. We've even beefed up the hammer head down here. I've taken the hole out here and made it so that it is just unbreakable. This is a brand new product for us. Um, it's a really nice versatile case that allows you to store extra stuff in the side like a multi-tool here that you can put in there with no problem. Uh, over on the other side, you store an extra spike that you could attach here down at the end if you needed that. Um, on the inside, we made it big enough so that you could put more gear on the inside, which I usually put like a fishing kit, water purification. Um, I would throw in here a space age blanket so it's in there when I need it. It's all for you. This one is something we haven't talked about and this is the Kroval Tactical. Um, which is now, I'm gonna say, one of my favorites um, as far as the Kroval line. And the reason being is it's half the weight of the Kroval Extreme. This one I keep in the truck. This is the one that I pack because it's not that heavy, but it takes the place of quite a few tools. My machete, my ax, my shovel, all rolled into one, bottle opener, saw. Um, this one does come with our Extreme Super Spike. Reverse that and put it on. This is for puncturing tires, zombies. I mean, this is just an attention getter, if you will. Um, but the hollow tube handles on these Krovals, you can store a ton of extra gear inside here from water purifiers, fire starters, um, 25 feet of paracord um, that is meant to come off. So this, if you were out in the wilderness, you had this one tool. This is not only your protection, this is something that will be able to build a campsite and um, 
you know, get you to safety. This is a great product by far. The tools that I showed you really are just the start of your survival gear that you're gonna eventually start to pick up one tool at a time. But every time you pick up a tool, make sure it's quality because there's no second chances out there in the wilderness. You've got only one chance to save your life. So you gotta get what you pay for. These tools are American made. These are solid, these are tough. Um, I test them all out myself and these are my private picks. This is what I think is really going to make the difference. So um, we hope to see you shopping at Gear Up and uh, happy holidays everybody.